Okay, uh, there's a demonstration here of an interesting, uh, I guess maybe phenomenon. I would like anybody that's open to uh, sharing what might be happening here. I've got a basic configuration, a uh, basic circuit here with a step down transformer that would usually take 110 and step it down to 35 volts. I believe I'm using, I'm quite sure I'm using here the 110 side of the coil and um, I'm sending that coil uh, into a full bridge rectifier right here and coming out of the full bridge rectifier into the cap on the DC side. The cap's a uh, 200, 200 volt, 300 microfarad. And I've got my digital voltmeter here attached on the DC output here of the cap. And uh, all I'm going to do here is I've got a, my power supply, which is a 12 volt, uh, 7 amp power supply. And I've got my negative side here soldered onto the side here of the uh, transformer and my positive side here I'm just going to pulse it on this piece of uh, it's a nickel 5 cent Canadian nickel and it's it's got a lot of nickel content because it's magnetic and uh, I'm quite sure a lot of you have done this experiment which is pretty basic I mean if I'm flicking it here I'm going to collect the back EMF in the uh, in the cap and as you see on the voltmeter it's increasing in voltage and I think I can pulse it to the point where I can get somewhere around 70 volts I'm going over 70 volts here. So I'm hitting about its limit now because it's not changing very much. Maybe I could get up to about 80 volts. Yeah, I'm up to 80 volts. Anyways, this is not the real point of the whole demonstration here. You guys know about this kind of circuit, nothing new. Uh, I'll short out my cap here with this light bulb and just drain it back down. The interesting thing here is I found by introducing a, a new magnet, I've got actually three of them stacked on top of each other there, is um, if I pulse it now, you're going to see a really large increase and a really different sound, like a really cracking sound on the spark compared to, I might have to hold this magnet, compared to what it was before. Now watch the voltage, how quickly it's climbing up. And as it's climbing up, the sound here is really changing. You hearing that cracking? Look how fast I went up compared to before. Now I'm up to 125, 130 volts in no time. And if you start looking at that flame, there's a flame coming out. Up to 150 volts now. I had it, I think, all the way up to about 180 volts. And it seems to about max out there. So I don't know why this is happening. And if there's anyone out there that knows why this is happening, I'd be really interested in finding out. I'll uh, post the uh, circuit, basic circuit, and 
somewhat of a brief explanation and this video is just to assist to show you what's really happening here and it's uh, kind of interesting and cool so looking forward in your replies